So welcome to another exercise of the week episode. This week I wanted to continue to build on that circuit that we've been working on. So, so far I've shown you four different moves and I had previously said we were gonna work up to six. So then after you've seen the six exercise, you could put these six moves together and you'd have a great, nice full body workout. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you another one of my favorite exercises. It's a lunge hold with a one arm row. So why I love it, one, it's a great isometric uh, contraction for your lower body. So it's like doing a plank. Your muscles are working, but they're not uh, lengthening and shortening, okay? The row, obviously most of us, we have bad posture, we're having um, jobs where we're sitting, so we're getting that rounded over. So we need more back strengthening, more pulling to help get those shoulders down and back and get us into proper posture, okay? So it's great for doing that. As well, since we're doing one arm, we are getting more core activation, okay? Um, as I'm rowing, I'm keeping my shoulders square to the front, and since I'm only using one arm, my body, if it's a heavy weight, wants to rotate. So I have to use my core to keep my shoulders square to the front. So it's really great for um, increasing core stability. So as usual, I'll talk you through the move as I'm doing it, and then afterwards, I'll come back to just give you a couple key points to keep in mind as you're doing it. So first take note of my positioning. So my legs, I've got a nice 90, 90 degree bend in them. And then my torso is completely vertical. My shoulders are set down and back and I'm looking straight to the front. Now, as you row, I like to cue my clients to think about trying to scrape their palm on their rib cage. So that helps keep the arm nice and tucked in. Now, if that's too tough to hold the lunge while you're doing your whole set of rows, then you could do a kneeling lunge so there I'm taking the load off the leg, still a great back and arm exercise as well as working that core. I could also do a reverse lunge. So that way I'm taking the load off my legs in between reps. Or lastly, if I needed something a little easier and non-impact, a static lunge. So you're just keeping in position and just dropping the back knee. So as you can see, Big compound movement, lots of stuff happening. Couple key points to keep in mind. One with the lower body is the weight should be 50-50 in the legs. The tendency I find is for clients to kind of tip over at the waist and put all the weight on the front leg. So you wanna really focus on shifting the weight back into that back leg and staying nice and upright in your torso. I find it helps if you focus on contracting the back of your leg that helps get your glutes and your hamstrings activated more so that your quads don't burn so much. Okay, now in the upper body, I want you to focus on keeping the shoulders down and back and the chest up. Okay, I find a lot of times when people do rowing, they're you know hunched over like they normally would sit. And then as they row, we don't get those back muscles activating the way they should, and we get a lot more upper trap activation. So you wanna think before you start your row, get in that lunge position, then shoulders down and back, chest up. And after each rep, you can do that. Sometimes I'll have clients, each time they straighten their arm, they lose that, and then nope, don't do another one before, set it down, now do another one. Okay, hope you enjoyed. See you on the next episode of Exercise of the Week.